move on to the uh, next question which has been raised and it comes from uh, uh, Jamila Murtaza, Jadakallah Jamila Murtaza Saiba from Tooting in London. Uh, it's a question which has been raised with her by one of her uh, non amdi Muslim friends. It's this, that when Amdis translate the Holy Quran, they introduce slight changes which make sense more to Punjabis and Pakistanis and the implication perhaps there is that that constitutes the larger part of the Amdi Muslim community which perhaps we can also look at and that is why their, their following is from that part of the world. She then quotes the Hadith which says if faith goes up to the Pallades, men from among, among them will be the ones to bring it back. Now she claims uh, or her friend claims that Amdi's twist the meaning and change the whole meaning to suit their own understanding. And actually the Holy Prophet did not mean that Iman will be brought back, only that others would be able to reach it. And these, according to her friend, mistranslate this, misinterpret it. Please explain. Um, if I could come to you first of all, Zaid Sof. I'm a Punjabi, the only one on the panel today. <laughs> no, well, I, I, I declare an interest as well. So. <laughs> and I'm intrigued to find out um, which translations are meant to be uh, making more sense to me and to Punjabis generally throughout the world. No specific example of the translations of the Holy Quran which have been allegedly, allegedly twisted have been given but uh, a, a quotation of a hadith has been given. But before we come on to that, we should see that the Holy Quran has over the centuries been translated both by Ahmadis and non-Ahmadis according to their own understanding of the sacred text. And therefore variations are bound to be expected, there's no doubt about that. And indeed we do find these in different translations, even by renowned scholars of Islam, even those belonging to the same school of thought. If you look at their translations, we, f we do find different variations, so there is no doubt in, in that. As far as the Jamaat Ahmadiyya are concerned, we take great pride in having translated the Holy Quran into more than 60 languages, major languages of the world today. Uh, and our translations are not limited certainly to Punjabi or to Urdu in that sense. But what we do find in our literature is that we provide both texts, the Arabic and the translation, translated text, side by side, so that any seeker of truth can actually look at these carefully and to see if there are any flaws in that. The other thing is that in, in our setup, the Khalifa of the time, uh, he takes great care in having checked the translations that are provided in different languages. And uh, different experts are involved in this, ling linguistic experts throughout the world, who will check, recheck, and recheck until the Khalifa is uh, sure and certain that everything has been looked into and this is the most truthful translation that can be provided. So it's a very painstaking task and can obviously take years before the Khalifa will finally decide that this translation can now be published. It, our translations are cross-referenced. We take into account hadiths and comment, commentaries of the Holy Quran of early scholars from different parts of the world. Um, and often also, this is interesting, is that the Jamaat often gets accolade from the different countries uh, and from people uh, with those languages to say that they found the translation of the Ahmadiyya community, community the best that was available for them. So this is proof that this is something that we do take great care over to make sure that we do justice as far as it's humanly possible to the translation of the text of the Holy Quran. And just on, and, and you talked about side by side, and just for, and I know all Muslims I hope will appreciate it, but certainly for our non-Muslim viewers, just to be absolutely clear, the Amdiya text of any Holy Quran which is translated, the Arabic text is to the letter exactly the same. Absolutely. The, the Arabic text is the divine text. It is the promise of Allah that that would not be changed. And pick up any Holy Quran that is published by the Ahmadi community or anybody else, and you will see that the Arabic text uh, is in its pristine original condition without any alterations. Did, moving on yeah. to the specific allegation yeah, that uh, she makes regarding the, the, uh, the hadith of the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, لَوْ كَانَ الْإِيمَانُ إِنْ دَثْرَيَّ 
lana lahu rijalun min haulai and she alleges that we translate incorrectly the word nala and it is it comes from the word to get or to obtain so a person or more than one would obtain it but the question is for what purpose would they uh, obtain it uh, certainly the answer is that they would obtain it uh, for everyone's benefit around them so they would reach up to these pleiades to bring back the faith that has gone up there for the benefit of mankind and for the benefit of man otherwise if if we look at her her translation and her meaning of it then the question would it, would it be only that the persians would be able to uh, reach it and it would not benefit anybody else apart from what she is alleging as uh, those those persons so th i think that that is part of the question is that we do not twist the manner in that respect we uh, we know that it would be for the benefit of the whole of the ummah for faith to be brought back maybe yeah, we should specify yeah. Yeah, why dr zaid sam sab just mentioned the persians maybe the viewers are wondering yeah. how, where they come well, from suddenly exactly where but basically it's that when the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was was saying these words he had put his hand on the sh on the shoulder of salman al farsi salman the persian uh, 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 saying that even if uh, the faith iman goes up to to the, like the heavens the pleiades then a man or men from among these meaning those persons Persian. would 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 get it meaning it would bring it back to earth for the people that would be the whole reason and the, the very very briefly because this could be a very long um, uh, you know explanation here but the, the premise was that a verse of surah uh, some verses of surah al jumma had just been revealed to him and he recited them upon the people where allah said that it is allah who has sent this uh, um, messenger who's raised this messenger among the unlettered people of arabia meaning but also among others wa akhirina minhum lamma yalhaqu bihim who they, who they have not met and so the sahaba asked him but who are these people ya rasulullah mm -hmm. so he said even if the faith goes up to the pleiades then one man or, or several men from among these people meaning the the persians putting his hand on salman's al farsi's shoulder that that alano will bring it will bring it will, will uh, f f uh, get it or fetch it meaning will bring it back yes. for the people yes. otherwise what's the point like dr sad uh, rightly pointed out and that was making specific reference yes. to because the the message being more universal yes, well. it's, yes. It's, it's, it is must be universal it can't be just sp uh, persian specific because it, otherwise that would mean that when the iman goes up there only the persians some people from among them will get yeah. it and all those yeah, will be deprived well, what a, a blurry picture of Islam and the future well, that, that would, be. would be. So that uh, d d definitely that would be a of wrong course. translation of this hadith. Of Ibrahim Saab, you had a point. I just want to say that if you go to Sahih Bukhari, which is not even translated but as written by us, you'll find exactly the same uh, understanding and meaning of that of that uh, that hadith. This is the main thing. It's not because sometimes people may think this is our interpretation. This is what we uh, using the word twist. But in this Sahih Al Bukhari volume. Um, uh, five, I think it is uh, Dr. Muhammad Moshin Khan himself from Islamic University of Al Medina has translated it in exactly the same way. So, it, you know, we're, we're translating it as its meaning. Yeah, I think, you know, I, the question, as you rightly put in, again, it's the context in which this thing has to be understood. And that hasn't been, obviously, by the questioner or her friend, indeed, who's uh, actually raised this question as well. I think, one, I think one point which we, we, we left out of the question, but it was self-evident in a way, because Dr. Saab said that we pr published the Qur'an in so many languages, over 60. The, the, uh, the, the question would be, why do we publish them in so many languages? It's because we have followers in uh, speaking all